Good afternoon, guys, or good morning, wherever you're coming from. Um, although you've probably seen the uh, trainerized walkthrough when you do the setup of the app, I thought I would do my own version of it just to help make sure that you can get the best out of the training experience possible. Um, so I'm going to take you through the app. Um, you've probably done the setup and all the rest, so you maybe had to play around with. But I'm going to show you some of the more important. Um, interesting features and the things that I think you need to pay attention to to help get the best out of your training. So without further ado, let's go into the app. Uh, because I've logged in already today, um, it opens straight up. So on a day-to-day -day basis, when you are looking for training, you go into calendar down at the bottom here and you're Going to get these messages coming up, but your calendar opens up and shows you everything that's been tracked over the last wee while and for the few weeks ahead. So your new program will sit in here. Okay, so I've set mine up as a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday example. Uh, today being Friday, where are we here? Um, and it shows me I've missed two sessions. Now that doesn't matter. You can go in and do any session you want and it'll log on the day that you do it. Okay, so if you have to change your schedule around a little bit, although I've put your uh, programs in on specific days, you can do them any day that you want. Okay, so all you would do is say, I want to go back and do Thursday session. I tap on that, hit start now, and there you go. So you can just uh, run through the programming um, and uh, work through the session. So if, for example, you run through a session, one issue that comes up often is, does it matter if you do the session in the order it's given or can you do it in any order that you want to do it in? Um, now, my preference is obviously that you do the session the way that I have uh, programmed it okay it's programmed that way for a reason but sometimes in a busy gym if you can't get onto a piece of equipment and you push for time so you can't wait around you may choose to scroll down and go into the second superset first for example work out through that stuff and then go back and do your uh, your first exercise further down in, in the chain you probably have to just wait for that <clears throat> excuse me because you won't be as fresh um, and you won't perform to the same level. Um, there are options if, for example, you are away from home, you're traveling with work, you're in a home gym. If that happens, guys, send me a message. Let me know what equipment you have access to um, and I'll help you uh, make substitutions if you need to. But you can do that yourself. Go on to the three dots at the side, uh, just over here. And if you tap that, you can substitute an exercise. Think about changing exercises for um, like for like. So you're changing, you're working the same pattern, okay? So say you can't get an inclined one on press, but you could do a, for some reason, this gym doesn't have a bench. You could do a floor version of the exercise. You simply select that one. You, let me just move this out of the way, hit select go back, hit done, and it updates the rest of that session with that exercise. And it only does it for that session. It doesn't have to do it for all of the sessions done. Enter your reps. Uh, typically, when you don't have, uh, if you have a body weight exercise, I tend to just fill this in as one, just to signify that it's body weight. But you can do whatever you want. Once you're done, you can add a comment to see um, any issues that you've done. You can add a time that you've taken. Uh, you've got a stopwatch there to use that. So you can use the time that you've done for the session. Um, you hit save. Score your effort on average over the whole session. Okay, so on that session, the front squats might have been up here somewhere, but the dumbbell press is down there. Uh, the leg extensions were quite tough, but the core was quite easy. On average, you'd probably be around there somewhere. Okay, you save that. Um, that tells you how many sessions you've done or if you have completed any personal records of the session. Okay, you hit that and it just logs it on the day that you've done it. All right, so it comes up as Thursday, but you, you can do it any day. I see when you've done it um, and I can see all the notes and everything that you've put in there. All right. 
down here in the bottom corner okay is the instant messenger for the app so if this has a little icon on it it means that my cheery me mug has sent you a message okay so make sure you check into those um i will send out messages uh fairly regularly for checkups um on replying to any comments that you've left on programming all of that sort of stuff um make sure you check in with these things guys because uh, i don't want you to miss anything any feedback that i'm giving you um because i'll tend to do it through here unless you message me on another platform okay so that is the messenger down in the bottom right corner as far as I know, that is the same on iPhone as it is on Android. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat this morning. Over on the dashboard, you can see your progress. Okay, so um, if you've got any habits, they'll appear in here. Um, if you've linked up your Fitbit, um, your details will fit in here. If you have taken uh, progress photos, the, release, the most recent ones will hit here. Um, your calorie intake for the day will appear here and any other factors that you've added in will appear in there as well. Okay, so it also gives you a list of achievements, what you've done over um, the course of your programming time. Um, you can flick back and forward through uh, different days um, and see where you are on that sort of stuff. Down in the bottom corner again, this three button tab where it says more. If you click in there, you have the option of connecting Fitbits, my fitness bar. You can connect Facebook so that you can brag about your workouts. Um, you can set your notifications, your units and all the rest of it. Okay. What I would like you to do if you are tracking calories is link your my fitness pal. Um, mine is already connected but you just follow the instructions on this page and it helps you do that. The same with Fitbit to help you track uh, steps, sleep quality. If you've got Fitbit scale, you can use that. Um, and that's all in the more tab down at the bottom corner. So that hopefully gives you a rough idea of, of what to expect in the app, how you can use it to your best advantage and how you can manipulate training programs and all the rest of it. Um, according to your schedule. If you have any questions on that at all, send me a message. I would be more than happy to help and have an awesome day. Talk to you later. Bye.